Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is currently not working due to games for Windows Live no longer functioning since this form of DRM is heavily integrated into the game itself right now if you were to try to play it just after you download it it wouldn't work it just wouldn't launch for that you would have to follow a set of special instructions in order to actually play the game um, there is a really helpful post from this user um, Ilona which pretty much details what you have to do um, first you will have to delete these two applications from your machine it's uh, Microsoft Games for Windows Redistri Redistributable and Microsoft Games for Windows Marketplace now the way that these programs appear on your On your programs list would be around here they won't they won't be called windows live they will be called microsoft games for windows live redistributable and microsoft games for windows marketplace just like it's currently showing on my screen i have already done all of this so i'm not going to delete them but you know you just need to select them and, and then press uninstall once you have done that you will just have to click on this link that the person has provided and then you will just have to click on there once you actually download the file I'm going to do it right now just to just so you know what's going to be inside of it you'll just have to install this file which is pretty much the latest up-to-date version of games for Windows Live after you have done that just for good measure um, on the same post that we just saw it tells you that perhaps you would need to set the program to Windows 7 compatible mode the way that you do this is quite easy you just need to click on prop on manage excuse me and then on browse local files and then just look for the exe file of the game press the right click properties then go to compatibility then compatibility mode make sure that this uh there's a little check on this place and then you select windows 7 and then click apply if you haven't and then okay and that would be pretty much it what's going to happen once you do all of this is that you should be able to launch the game and the game is going to ask you for a um, microsoft account you will just have to enter an email and that's pretty much it another thing that should be mentioned is that just like the post mentions as well is that it, this uh, login process is going to take about five to seven minutes and they're actually being quite honest it's going to take that long do not uh, don't get too impatient just wait and surely or not it's going to work properly and you should be able to play the game that's pretty much it thank you very much and have a great day